I owe the black community everything that I've got. It's everybody. Still come by and see me. How long have you been a barber? All my life. Over 50 years. Oh, wow. And so how many heads do you think you've cut in your lifetime? I've a lot of black people there. And they were very good to me because they helped send me to my house, send my kids to college, and was good in the neighborhood. I never had any problem with any black kids. The only thing that drove me to where I am today was my father when he took us in the water shop. At that time, they were talking, telling jokes, and that's the only thing I really wanted to be. I went in the military, and as I got out of the military, I went to, I went to Barber College. But they told me when I checked on that it was well integrated. When we came out of the school, they sent me over to her. I thought we would all be downstairs, but we all went to school together, but we all, they had to send us over to the black school. They had a black school. But I learned how to cut a lot of the kids there from the projects. They were very nice. A lot of did very well, but they didn't stay here. They moved on to someplace else. I asked them to bring me something. There's one thing about a college education, you can take it anywhere. So Union and Pace, for years and then I moved down here, I've been down here probably you know, 25, 30 years. But everything in it was given to me. And everybody coming here is like my family. We would always just get together and sing. And I never had to lock the door or close the doors. We had both doors open. In the springtime, I have had men get put out of jail, get out of jail, no place to stay. I said, well, you sleep in here, just clean up. So tell me, what's it like being a daughter of a, a notarized here, a barber that's been here so long in the community? It's challenging because I have um, huge shoes to fill, but um, it's exciting also um, to, to put myself up to those challenges and um, just be myself, but remember that I'm, um, I'm always hustling for my last name because uh, my dad has worked very hard and um, I'm, I'm really proud of him and everything that he's accomplished and it really motivates me to do the same thing. Over the course of my great career, I learned how to invest my money in the stock market. I was scared, but my friends told me. A lot of the Rams football players came in here. Jamie and all of them helped me invest my money in the stock market. And I tried to get my kids and other black kids to do the same thing, but they just scared. Let somebody teach you that. If I ask them in school, why aren't you teaching us about stocks and bonds and mutual funds? Because if you see what inflation is now, people get rich, it's in the market. Growing up uh, with him, uh, uh, were you able to see some of these people that came through his barbershop as well? Oh my goodness, every one of them that's, um, that's not younger than me or too old where I don't remember, but most of them, yes, I have um, encountered, I know. Bob Gibson gave me that picture there. I've been had that, I've been had that picture on probably over 40 years. They took great care of me just as he did because like he said, we're family. Um, so I was fortunate to know a lot of firemen, a lot of police chiefs, a lot of business people, a lot of students, a lot of educated black people that look just like I do. What are you gonna do next? Well, I would like to help some kids. I'm 83. I've been down there all my life. Can't sit at home. I miss this. 
I am a cosmetologist. I had a salon in the loop for over 10 years, and I just was fortunate enough to buy my own building that we moved the salon into. So I have followed his footsteps. I worked right here in this chair next to him for many years. Um, I went to college, and I've, I've hopefully made him proud by doing everything that he has led um, us to do. And there's lots of things that, um, that I do just like him, and I'm really excited to carry on his legacy and, and really um, make sure that he's proud of me and going in the future. I think a lot of times we scared of each other. Why is that? 